And yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of a general reading, a little bit of an energy update and see what wants to come through for the Libra gang. Hello, hello, Libra sending in lots of love, lots of light and setting the intention that messages of the highest truth, of the highest love mm, and that will provide the greatest confirmation and clarity for you are the messages that come through today. So couple disclaimers before we start your reading Libras. I always invite you to use your intuition. So as a psychic, as a medium, of course, I'm going to be pulling and sharing my intuitive reflections. But most importantly, Libras, pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to what you think about what I'm saying. What do you feel about what I'm saying? I find that tarot is a beautiful and helpful tool to become a hot mess. Maybe. No, uh, I'm a mess. I'm making a mess. I am a mess. It's fine. Um, it's a great tool to explore your psyche, to become more consciously aware of your resistances, to become more consciously aware of your preferences, to become more consciously aware of your beliefs and kind of energetically where you're at. So I might be sharing some themes and some energetic dynamics I might be seeing come up in the cards, but pay attention to your intuition, okay? Let's not just rely on me. Let's use this as an opportunity and an invitation for you to strengthen your own intuition while you are here, okay? So pay attention. Keep an eye out for those synchronicities and for those gut feelings and for those curiosities that come up in you okay pay attention so libras we're gonna go ahead and get started mm, what do my libras need to know what is going on with my libra collective i'm feeling lemuria i'm feeling lemuria we're getting lemuria vibes beyond lemuria so we're gonna start off with beyond lemuria so what's going on with our Libra collective? What do my Libras watching need to hear right now? What do they need to understand about the current dynamics going on in their life? Spirit, spirit, please, ancestors, angels, guides, benevolent beings, only beings of the highest truth, of the highest love, of the highest light. Will you please facilitate this reading? bring through some messages to clarify to support our libras watching what are they going through and what do they need to understand about the dynamics and themes going on in their life right now we got third eye chakra coming out okay we got third eye chakra pineal perspective get out of here okay so third eye mm okay libra so i'm feeling like third eye so this is coming straight back to the, in the intuition okay and maybe that's why i really felt called to emphasize okay on that disclaimer i mean i always kind of mention that but for you that really felt um like a focal point okay even coming into this reading there's a sense of focus. There's a sense of gaining clarity. There's a sense that there's some situation or dynamic that has been going on that has required you to mm, take a deeper look at things, okay? I'm really, really feeling a sense of an upgrade happening here, a sense of gr greater clarity. I really feel like you're accessing some deeper truth about something about yourself Mm, what's going on here? Mm, there's just a greater sense of awareness for sure, Libras that are watching, that's getting unlocked for you here. Mm, there's a sense of understanding the past and how that's either affected the present or how that's a reflection of something that's going on. I'm kind of getting Six of Cups energy here, okay? I'm getting... Something about learning from the past. This has come up with Libras. For Libras, I've had this come up even in personal readings, okay, with Libra energy. There's something about learning from the past. There's something about people from the past or certain habits 
or dynamics, themes from the past that are circling around because I'm getting the symbol of the infinity symbol and it's showing me, I'm being shown, did you see that? Confirmation. I'm being shown a clock and I'm being shown past and future. Mm, so yeah, there's definitely something about cycles coming through here. What are we learning from the past? What are we... Okay, you guys saw that. Okay, so I have a spirit in here that likes to play with the light. <laughs> it's nice to catch it on camera. I swear, I mentioned about the spirit in this room. And of course, right? This is where I'm doing my intuitive practice. It's nice to catch it on camera. Hello, we see you. Beans of love and light. Mm, my ancestors and angels, only the beans of the highest love, of the highest truth, of the highest light. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please support this reading. Please guide us. Give us our confirmation, our synchronicities, and our messages today. So, yeah, it's looking like there's a sense of connecting to the past, connecting to your ancestors. This could be something about even maybe ancestral patterns, okay? I need to turn this light back up. Can we get the light back up? Do I have to go over there and, and jimmy the switch? All right, hold on, y'all. Because I can't see well enough. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to let me get it brighter than that? Oh, my goodness. It's not even going to happen. Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to make work, aren't we? Right, Libras. What's on the bottom of the deck? Hmm, Mount Shasta. Interesting. So with both of these, I'm seeing also something about sacred sites. What do sacred sites have to do also with the past? Okay, so there might be a specific place. There might be a specific place you either feel called to visit, maybe a specific place from your past, maybe a specific place that you've always felt inspired or called to go to. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're feeling compelled to travel somewhere specific. Mm, there's also a correlation here to the stars. As above, so below. Um, I'm getting so many different messages here. Um... Yeah, you're seeing how everything is connected. You're seeing how the past, present, and future is connected. You're seeing how physical places and people are connected. There's a lot going on here, Libras. Ooh, interesting. I think I want to pull some tarot to go along with this. Am I getting Starman tarot? Yeah, okay. This is the next deck I'm getting called to. I haven't used this deck in a minute. We're going to use Starman Tarot next, okay? For the Libras. Let's see. Yeah, let's use this. This is the one. Yeah, because I'm getting a lot of um, star energy, interestingly enough. Libras, Libras. Star energy, okay? Star energy. That's Aquarius energy as well. Star energy talks about wish fulfillment. Mmm... What's going on with the Libra Collective that will be tuning into this video? What do they need to understand about this dynamic? What do they need to understand about what is going on with them? I'm hearing and seeing 1111. I'm seeing ones and zeros, like binary. That keeps coming through too. I keep getting like... um binary almost like a computer there's something with computers or engineering not just computers there's something about engineering building what is this yeah building but this doesn't just have to be engineering this could be like building a foundation is what i just heard a grid is what i just heard going on with my Libras? 
I don't very often reach for this um, Star Tarot, Starman Tarot deck. I'm curious to see what comes out. The Chariot. Number seven with the Chariot. Yeah, you could definitely have plans to travel somewhere. This could definitely be about a specific place or a specific something have ha having had happened at a specific place. This could be something not. How do I say this? There's definitely a sense of movement of going from one place to another, or of some connection to one place and another place. Seeing how these places are connected or how these opposite things are connected. Again, because I'm being shown the as above, so below. And now with the chariot, which it also shows these two usually polarized depictions of various animals. Um, pulling this chariot, and it's kind of in a sense alludes to some element of duality there in the steering and needing a sense of balance. This is very Libra energy coming through here. A sense of balance in order to be able to direct the chariot in the direct in the intended direction. So there's a sense here, Libra, is about gaining clarity and insight and understanding as to which direction you want to go in and also how to balance these maybe seemingly different polar opposite elements or aspects and figuring out how they can actually work together or how they're actually similar as above so below how they're actually reflections of each other and how they can collaborate to move forward in an intended direction. So maybe there's a sense of compromise or collaboration. That that's very Libra, right? Um, number seven. I feel like this is spirit-led. There's some spiritual intention here. There's some spiritual goal. There's some, hmm, let's see, chariot. It's cancer energy or... Right? Cancer. Hmm. This could be related to moving. You might have plans. Maybe you're considering moving somewhere. Moving um, somewhere that's maybe a distance away. What else? What's going on with Libras? We have Princess of Wands in reverse. Wow. This is very potent. Oof. Oh my gosh. You might be feeling very ungrounded right now. You might be feeling like inspired or somebody. There's an energy here of somebody I feel like. Uh-huh. I feel like there's an energy here of somebody wants to move. Somebody wants to move forward. Somebody's planning a move. Somebody's um wanting somebody's making plans for something somebody's looking forward and they're yeah they're really trying to get clear on partially the impact they want to have is what i'm getting here with princess of wands in reverse Again, you might be feeling really ungrounded. We have eight of wands in reverse on the bottom. Totally Libras. What do my Libras need to understand about what's going on here? Clarify the princess of wands in reverse. Why is princess of wands in reverse? The world and the five of cups. It's time to Oh, what is what is this? I just heard it's time to let go of what was lost, I want to say. Wow. Mm. I feel wow, there's just so much spiritual energy. So Libra, 
wow, like my um, crown, my third eye. I totally feel this in my third eye. Five of Cups. Five of Cups can talk about kind of focusing on what's been lost and um, facing a challenge to stay in the awareness of what one st still has. One still has the Two of Cups. So there could be a sense of hmm, feeling like you have missed opportunities with people in the past or with um, emotional opportunities. And with the world coming in here, there's a sense of like waiting for yours. Princess of Wands in reverse. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. I feel like there was something that you were excited about, excited to explore, or some way you were excited to express yourself, some emotional endeavor or investment that you made that you feel like disappointed by that didn't work out how you planned potentially. And, but I do see you stepping into this evolution, Libras. What is this? The sun, that's what I'm saying, right above the world card. Um, whoo, major, major activations. And the wheel on the bottom? Yes, totally. Ooh, yeah, Libra. So I totally feel like you are stepping into this new perspective, okay? I really feel like you're becoming more empowered you're becoming more aware of your potential of like, I really feel like you're kind of letting go of certain things that have happened to you in the past, certain old beliefs, certain disappointments. I really feel like you're accepting is what I'm hearing. I feel like you're accepting like the things that have happened and the people and places that you've been disappointed in. And I really see you like kind of completing this old paradigm within your world and within yourself and stepping into this whole new sun energy, okay? And this is powerful with the wheel as well. This is a whole new cycle. This is a whole new sense of expression, okay? Mm, I'm seeing just you really lighting up, really being in your power interesting can we see anything else that's going on with libras what else is going on with libras and what do they benefit from understanding more clearly here what do they benefit from understanding more clearly about the different dynamics they're experiencing in their life right now i'm feeling a lot of ancestral support around you in your energy I really feel like you're trying to make these plans and I feel like even though you're getting clear and empowered in yourself, I feel like there is like a certain level of faith that's being kind of established here. Let's see what else wanted to come out. What else is our Libras watching this? I'm going to benefit from understanding more clearly. We have the Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, Princess of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles. And these are all in reverse. And then the Princess of Swords. Page of Swords. Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands. And Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you have spent a lot of energy defending yourself. Defending what you believe. Fighting for what you believe in. Trying to explain what you believe. Trying to be like kind of protective over what you've invested in. I see... People, tr you feel like these people have been, people in your energy have been coming at you, like judging you, asking for explanations for things, misunderstanding you, projecting onto you. I see you trying to focus on your work. I see you um, trying to make progress. I see you wanting and having these ideas and your own mm, goals and your own 
like preferences and um what are, what's the word i'm looking for what is it your own standards is that it not it's not the first thing that is a word that i just heard come through but what what am i feeling here yes your own expectations but your own intentions i think that's the word I feel like you've had your own intentions as far as what you've wanted to create, how you've wanted to create it, how you've wanted to go about things. And I do get a sense of a lot, some people in your environment. This could be parents, this could be children, this could be partners, this could be bosses, this could be um, friends, okay? Um, just kind of... Putting a lot of pressure on you is what I just heard as well. Hmm. And with the Princess of Swords coming out upright. Ooh, this is giving me Doctor Strange vibes. Um. Mm, I really feel like you are doing a pretty darn good job of like learning to establish healthy boundaries here, learning how to mm, like pick your battles is what I just heard as well. So it's like you're learning this balance between having your preferences, having your intentions, having your expectations, having your standards, but also not wasting time trying to explain or ask of those things of people that just aren't interested, aren't capable, or aren't going to put in the effort, aren't going to reciprocate, um, are just going to misunderstand you. I really feel like you're getting clear and intentional intentional about where you invest your energy totally with the seven of pentacles it's like i get this feeling from you libra that you're like i'm tired of wasting my energy i'm tired of wasting my time i'm tired of explaining myself to people that don't get it um i just want to be in my truth i just want people to understand where i'm really coming from i just want people to stop wasting my time that's what i'm hearing with those cards libra um, can we get some more messages? What, what does Libra need to hear? What does Libra need to know right now? What will benefit the Libra Collective watching this? Mm, I'm getting light seers tarot. Alrighty. We'll pull a couple more tarot cards from here. What else do our Libras need to know what will they benefit about understanding more clearly about these different dynamics that are going on with them right now what's going on with our libra collective the libras that will be watching this can you give me messages of highest truth of the highest light what messages and synchronicities can come through right now to support our libras and allow them to better understand their situation we have temperance okay balance balance moderation moderation i'm hearing mm, yeah it's something about bringing these different things into balance bringing different things into balance can we clarify temperance what's being brought into balance here we have the tower and the hermit card Ooh, two more major arcanas Oof! wow what's being brought into balance hermit and the tower. These are completely different energies. <laughs> the tower and the hermit. Two completely different energies. One of these is complete calm and stillness and isolation. One of these is action, initiation, chaos, noise. This is like silence, stillness, reflection. This is like, no. <laughs> You didn't listen, and now the tower's falling to force you to listen. This is like you are given an opportunity to listen, and you're taking time to listen. So 
This is about finding balance between your inner world, your inner truth, your inner journey, and how you show up, how you take action externally. This is also about truth. How do you balance what you feel and what you share? What you are and how you show up. How do you balance, yeah, what you give and what you receive? How do you balance knowing when it's time to be still and time to move, right? We have the chariot. You're figuring out kind of like your own ebb and flow here. You're learning to listen to your intuition and trust when it says it's time to move, when it trust it, when it says it's time to um pull back, okay? I really feel like you're you've been getting a lot of guidance. You've really been connecting to your intuition. You've really kind of been learning to um become more aware of these different kind of rhythms in your own energy the hermit card virgo energy and scorpio energy you're learning uh, the difference of like this balance between right virgo is like the mundane the daily the habits scorpio is like the intense the book excuse me my language the anomaly the enigma the extreme the the far ends of the spectrum whereas virgo energy hermit energy in a sense more so would represent like the middle path to me in this um context so temperance is saying can you learn to integrate and apply the medicine for both uh, What's going on here with Libras? I feel like there's a sense of cycles. There's a sense of needing or choosing to go inward and connect to one's own truth. Connecting to one's own truth. Knowing one's time is coming. Time for what? One's time is coming. Time for what? What is it time for? What is it time for? What does Libra intuitively feel like is coming? We have the moon, right? As I said, intuitively coming. There's something stuck, some cards stuck to this. The moon and the high priestess, two intuitive cards, and the ten of wands. That's what I'm saying, Libra. That's what I'm saying, Libra. You intuitively know that it's, that you've been that it's time that some journey is coming to an end, that some old cycle is coming to an end, that some chapter is coming to an end, and you're getting ready to put down some heavy burdens. You've been carrying a lot for a long time, Libra. You've been on a long journey, carrying a lot, doing a lot of work, carrying a lot of weight by yourself primarily. We got the moon, we got the ten of wands and the high priestess. This is like you have been carrying the knowledge, the knowing, you have known. You have known. You know, Libra. You already know. Why are you watching this video? Libra, you already know. The first card out was third eye. Third eye. And now we got the moon. We got the high priestess. Both coming out together. The cards are freaking stuck together with the ten of wands. And you're balancing the tower and the hermit. Remember what I said? You're balancing the tower and the hermit. So it's like finding balance. So that things don't have to be so heavy, so extreme. There's a sense of balance. Because I feel like, and you know what this is for you. Okay? We got the two most intuitive cards in the deck. You already know, Libra. You already know all of what I'm freaking saying and then some, don't you? So, mm. Mm, yeah, balanced, right? Remember I told you those two polar opposite, um, usually the chariot card, which you pulled earlier. Usually the chariot depicts these like black and white sphinx style creatures pulling the chariot and they kind of have allude to this certain element of duality right and we see that again here in the moon with the black and white 
um, wolves here. So you're balancing Libra. Of course, you would have this, this theme of balance throughout your reading. So it goes. Even with temperance being right here in the middle. Temperance is about balance. That's why he has these um, two polar opposite of the sun and the moon. It's holding the characters, holding the sun and the moon. It's about balance. And you also have the sun and the moon. We also have the sun and the moon from two different decks. Okay, you have the sun and the moon here as well. Masculine, feminine, action and non-action, ebb and flow. End of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. Okay, so what's Libra's advice? What's Libra's advice? Do we have advice for Libra? What is Libra? Oh, so Libra already knows. Libra already knows everything. Congratulations, Libra. Are you going to give me any advice for Libras? Any type of advice you want for Libras? Anything, anything, anything. Oh, I'm getting this. I'm getting to pull something from here. All right, Libras. Mmm. Okay. What's the advice for Libras concerning and considering what they are balancing? Libras learning to balance the new elements of themselves and their experience in their life. No surprise there. What advice, Spirit, ultimately, what is the best advice you can give for Libras for this new level of balance that they're integrating? What is the best advice, Spirit, that you have for Libras right now? What? Um, that's too much. I'm not taking all that. Um, okay. But there are a couple things. I, there was this card down here, the Queen of Swords. And I'm going to look at these. Happiness. Leadership. Taking risks. And illumination. Mm. I do want to say that there's a lot of beautiful energy in these cards. Wow. The advice for Libra. The advice is really, truly, honestly, yeah, to keep doing what you're doing because I don't, I get a really good feeling from this read. I honestly get more of a feeling that this is like a reading of confirmation. I don't really get the sensation that you have some... Mm. Okay, I don't get like that there's a bunch of new things coming into your experience that have been like super challenging. I more so get this feeling that you're coming out. I feel like you're finishing a hard cycle. I feel like you're closing out these chapters. Like you're at the very, very tail end of this. I really feel this. I don't see a lot of negative energy in your reading. Barely, like nowhere almost. Um, honestly, bruh. I really feel like if you've been having a hard time trying to kind of bring all these different elements together. If you've been having a hard time feeling like you've been carrying the weight of something. Um, that you feel like you've been doing something largely alone. You've come a long way. You haven't had a lot of help. You're freaking exhausted. I feel like this is coming to an end. I feel like you're at the end of the road of this particular journey. And you're stepping into a new chapter where you're thriving. You've come into a balance. You understand yourself better. You've learned how to communicate your boundaries. You're learning how to cut off people that waste your time. You're learning how to not go to such extremes and put yourself under this ex additional stress by exerting extra energy, um, defending yourself against people that just couldn't care less, um, trying to explain yourself to people that have no interest in understanding you in the first place, etc. I really see you mm, doing really well. I really see... The changes and the hard work that you've put in, Libra, I really see it paying off and not like in maybe the most initially obvious ways, but I feel like your life is really about to take a totally different energetic shift. I see, look at this, happiness, leadership, 
taking risks. Illumination. It's like there's such a sense of peace. There's such a sense of clarity. There's a sense of strength. And it's not like something that's been handed to you. It's something that you've earned by working hard, by your dedication, by the inner work you've done. Mm. I feel like you have done a lot of inner work. You have really learned how to open up your intuition, connect to your own inner voice. You've learned how to kind of tune out the opinions of others and really get clear on your own truth, on your own priorities, your own preferences. I see you have made little steps, little incremental steps and investments towards what you've wanted to build. And I see that that's um, built up an acclamation here. I see you making good investments. I see those investments paying off. And when I say investments, I just mean like with your time, with your focus, with your energy, you're getting more intentional, more disciplined in a sense about where your energy is going. Mm, yeah, so you might... Let me see. Just wow. I really see you kind of taking all this, all these things you've learned, all these lessons you've learned. I really see you kind of getting what you've put into something. So like a lot of the hard work that maybe you feel like you haven't had a chance to see the benefit from. Like maybe you feel like I've invested a lot of time here. I've invested a lot of work there. I have done a lot of work on myself here, et cetera, where, wherever the thing might be. I really feel like um, that's something that you were really disappointed by in the past. You're going to be seeing it in a totally different way. I feel like it's like you're realizing... Um, certain gifts that you have certain people in your life that really want to emo show you emotional support that really want to collaborate and uh, people that have good intentions for you um i'm seeing that mm. yeah just continue to use your intuition right mm continue to mm, I just keep hearing be willing to be honest I'm getting I'm getting brought back to these this message about truth and this message about your intuition so maybe there was something in the past that you didn't want to see or you were in denial about or you were struggling to be honest with yourself about. And now I feel like... Um, I feel like either you're just being shown, you're just not willing to light. Confirmation, there's the light. You're not willing to lie to yourself anymore about... Whatever the situation is. I feel like. You're wanting to. Invest in and move towards. Like I keep getting drawn to the chariot as cancer energy. Which represents the home. It represents family. And we have the king of cups on one side. We have the knight of pentacles on the other side. I feel like you're trying to, yeah, just get clear, clearer on your invest, on your in your investments, your intentions. Get clearer on. Hmm. Yeah, your priorities, your boundaries, your truth. Because I feel like your life is about to change, and there are bigger and better and more blessings coming in for you that you've worked hard for and you've waited for. And I feel like um, maybe there's been a sense of making room and clearing space for that. What else do our Libras watching need to know?
The world came out again. End of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle, Libras. Totally. Libra, Libra, Libras. What does this new cycle entail? What's going on? What cycle are Libras stepping out of? How about let's see what cycle they're stepping out of. Thank you. And what cycle are they stepping into? What cycle are they stepping into? Thank you. And the tower came out again. What cycle are they stepping out of? Here we go. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Cups. Exactly. Ace of Cups with Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is like you putting your heart into situations where the other person wasn't invested, Libra. Or was, in, or was interested in investing in something different, okay? This is about... Choosing where you put your energy and your time and your money, Libra, okay? Because here you are pouring out your heart. You are used to be in the cycle of investing, investing, investing. Your time, your energy, your resources, your love. And have having this being with people that are just taking, 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 taking. And you're stepping into a new cycle with the tower, that's like Mars energy. That's Scorpio energy. You want to know what Scorpio energy is? Scorpio energy is... Fuck around and find out. You see that lightning bolt? That's like Mother Nature. Mother Nature... Mm, unbiased. Neutral. Doesn't give a fuck. Like you plant the seeds and you water them. And then... And like, okay, so how do I mean like... Mm. unbiased right like if you do the thing you're gonna get the result you put the seed you water it you give it sun you give it dirt you're gonna it's gonna grow um if you don't it's gonna die okay it's like um opposed to these people in the past that made promises and didn't fall through this is people that didn't follow through with their end of the bargain Okay, that's the cycle you're stepping out of is is investing in people that you know aren't going to reciprocate, Libra. Okay, it's you're a Libra. You are a like Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising, Libra Venus, or you were drawn to this video and you've heard me say the word Libra a thousand times. So I don't even know how you would put up with that if you didn't carry some of that energy. It would probably be annoying if I were you. But um Libra energy, it's about balance, it's justice, it's Venus, it's give and take, okay? It has to be balanced, and if it's not, then the universe will force it to be balanced. It's like naturally things come into balance, homeostasis, um, and you're stepping into that. You're stepping into your own neutrality. You're stepping into your own energy of, you know what? No. I am now. I am now. Taking action. I am now causing change. In my life and in the life of others. I am now speaking my truth and I'm speaking it boldly and I don't care who it affects because it is the truth and it is medicine. It is my medicine. This, this is the stuff I hear you saying, Libra. I feel like the people that are going to be in your experience in the future are going to be getting, hello, a much different version of you, Libras. So also with this light going on and off, because this, this does happen on occasion, but like not like every day that does just randomly happen. So you might also, Libras, pay attention to lights around you. I don't know if you have a, you have poltergeist activity. You might have a, um, a certain spirit guide, ancestor, angel trying to get your attention. So just kind of be aware, okay? Pay attention, pay attention. What else is going on with our Libras? What's going on here? Can you tell me more about the new cycle Libra's going into? We have King of Cups kept wanting to come out again. And the Hanged Man. 
is a, hangman again is a different perspective so you're you're gaining a new perspective on hmm your emotions yes there's something deeper here and we have the sun on the bottom of the deck you're gaining a new perspective on I just heard how to use your emotions. What's under the sun? The star. Mm. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're really getting clear on what you want. I feel like you're getting really clear on your own truth, your own perspective. And I feel like you're going to be investing a lot more in that direction. And I feel like you're going to be a lot quicker to speak your mind in this new chapter that you're stepping into i feel like you're a lot quicker to prioritize yourself take care of yourself speak and advocate for your own needs uh, again i feel like people from your past might be a little bit confused or not used to getting this energy from you um oh well but um i don't hate to see it libras i see you doing well in that energy honest i see you you really this is what I see, Libra. I see you getting some things coming into your life that you've waited a long time for. Truly. I see that there might be certain relationships. There might be certain goals, experiences, people, dynamics, whatever the case. Um, I feel like you have spent a lot of energy in, the, in your past really pouring into other people. And a lot of that energy ended up feeling wasted not to say it was wasted but i do feel like you probably felt like it was wasted because these people did not reciprocate i do think a lot of that energy is now going to be finding its way back to you because uh, that's what i'm seeing in the cards it's like some of this karma and good karma that you have put out is coming back to you and some of these energetic investments that you made that maybe you thought you would never get any you would never Maybe you just thought that you lost out on that time or that experience or that money or that opportunity, whatever it might be. I really am seeing some of these things kind of circling back and you getting a chance to enjoy um, some of the things that you, you've been desiring. Truly, I see you having a lot of happiness come in. I see you having a different perspective and also people having a totally different experience. Um, perspective of you as well because you're changing you're stepping into this new expression you're stepping into a new chapter really libra this is change and it feels pretty it feels pretty big it feels pretty good it feels um, yeah i like this for you um I'm not going to really go too much further into it. Uh, let me see. Any love messages for fun? Let's see if uh, we can get any, just maybe a love or romance message. Is there any love or romance messages for Libra? Is the Libra's watching? Do we have any love or romance messages? Oh, I just need another four down. I have another card before. Do we have any love or romance messages for the Libra's watching this video? What do they need to know about love or romance? What can you let us know, spirit? Messages of the highest love, of the highest truth. Jeez, okay. Okay, let's see what we got to pop out. Okay, let's see. We have a few things. A few things. Okay. King of Pentacles, the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll read these in a second. Let me just see what's going on here. Okay. Alrighty. So, love messages. Okay. A couple things, a couple things. Um, first thing I got, I think one of the first cards I got was two to four years. 
So this could be talking about you coming out of a two to four year cycle, a two to four year cycle, a two to four year contract, a two to four year, something about two to four years. So I don't know what's going on with two to four years, but there's a message here about it. Um, I really feel like this could also be referring to past. Yeah, I'm getting more so that this is in the past of two, four years than this is more so talking. This is more so talking about the past two, four years rather than this is talking about something coming up in the next two, four years. I do, I do think while we talked about the future and about this happening, that this two to four years specifically is not referring to this energy. I, I'm not getting a timeline on this dynamic as far as that goes, but I do feel like this two to four years could be reflective or indicative of something that's um, talking about this past dynamic. Um, it's, I'm being directed towards past here. Um, I also have this message that says, I've been looking for someone like you for a long time. So there's a person coming in and also this is you. This is you as well saying this. So there's a person or people, um, friends, soul family, partners, it doesn't matter. Um, but we did ask for like love and romance, right? So I really feel like you're going to be connecting with people on emotional levels, just in practical levels, that there is a sense of compatibility with, a sense of balance. Um, ask spirit to guide you, okay? We have spirit-led, okay? So there's spirit-led connections and you're being spiritually led, okay? Listen to your intuition, spirit-led. Ask spirit, ask whatever you believe in to clarify and to allow your intuition to be strong and clear and to know who has pure intentions for you, to know when you're being told the truth, to know um, who's wanting to invest in the same things as you who has the same goals and who's willing and able to invest in those in a way that's going to be harmonious and healthy for you okay i really do feel like you have some soul contracts coming in um in other words you know i feel like you have some people coming in that you are meant to meet that you have big mm, that you have big things to do in this life with so i feel like some of the next people that are either come into your life or will be coming into your life either way it goes these are going to be people that have a big impact on you and your future okay so pay attention to your intuition and who it's who it's um who it's telling you okay to invest your energy in or who it's telling you that you feel like you might have some type of soul connection or soul contract here with um, cause there's something deeper going on here. There's a sense of, um, you and the, and the people coming to your life finding, cause I have lost, finding something in each other that you guys have been looking for, right? We had that card that says, I've been looking for someone like you for a long time. Meaning you guys are going to be finding something in each other that you've been looking for and you haven't been able to find whatever that is. Okay. I have the initials M and S. This could be Miss. You could. What is that? Is that somebody that's that uh, is a widow or divorced or was or was never married? When we're talking about teachers, Miss. Um, or maybe somebody misses you. Maybe you miss somebody. Mm, yeah, definitely somebody could be missing you, or you miss somebody, or you miss this type of energy. You miss being in love. Maybe maybe you miss being um not scared okay because i have this energy that says hope scares me i don't want to be hurt so i feel like somebody's been hurt and they're scared to take a leap of faith here okay somebody is is nervous if this is gonna work okay we have work somebody is nervous if this is gonna work um somebody's wondering if they're gonna have success we have six of wands if they're going to be able to build something successful with you, if they're going to be able to be like recognized for who they are and for the hard work that they put in, I think this is something that's important to you too. I think that you want somebody that recognizes how hard of a worker you are. I feel like you want somebody that works just as hard as you. I feel like you want somebody that would be wise. Somebody that's 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 wise. Somebody that takes you into consideration and and um, 
yeah, it takes into consideration how things are going to impact you. I feel like you're going to feel really lucky when you meet this person, when you connect with this person. This is how you're both going to feel is lucky to know someone like each other. I feel like you're going to feel lucky that you found each other and that things just work. Things just flow, but you're nervous because you've both been hurt before. We have exercise. So, yeah, I feel like you are you could be making it a point to try and make some healthy changes. And this this would also imply or, or kind of reflect this dynamic of just trying to make um, progress, right? To make little um, recalibrations, little adaptations to support your overall health and well-being, which is what I, which I also do see you wanting to do and see you, um, getting ready if you haven't already started to do, um, because you're stepping in again into this new chapter and yeah, there's just a lot of new experiences right around the corner that are wanting to come in. Let's get a spell card. One last card. Let's get a spell card for Libras. What spell card will support Libra most on their journey? This new chapter that they're stepping into. Just overall, what do they need to... Harmony. Of course, Libras. Of course, Libras. Harmony. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. Harmony, as I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. Right? Okay, Libra. So yeah, you're trusting yourself, trusting what you create, trusting the balance and trusting that these things are going to come back to you. And if it's not this, this person or this specific opportunity, whatever it might be, it will come back to you. It's coming back to you in another person, in another place, in another way. Right around the corner, Libra. I'm telling you. You have done the work. You have rested. You have done all the things. You have worked hard and you have rested. You have done the work. You have done... <laughs> You have done the things and you know the things. And yeah, it's time for something new. Ooh, and it feels good. It feels like you already are on your way. You're already doing it. Go for you, Libras. Okay, I hope that this reading's helped you. Uh, I hope it's providing with a little bit of clarity, confirmation, love, and support from me to you. Always wishing you nothing but the best. Nothing but eternal love and peace and prosperity from me to you always. Until next time, Libra, gang, gang, squad. Let that poltergeist know. It's a big chill in the lights, okay? It's been a minute. And I know I like candidly act like that's not a big deal, but that was a bit much. So um, we're going to ask that we close this portal, close this space, ask any spirits to go to sleep, take a nap. Thank you for your messages. Thank you for your time. We're closing the space, closing the portal, closing the reading with nothing but love. All of you guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.